Hey everyone, uh, today is the eve before Easter. And if you watched our update video this morning, you know that I went to work early and at Costco and I get there. And at Costco, you never know what you're gonna do. Um, it's always, uh, hey, we need you here. You just play as a team and you go where you need to go. So I started working on the front end. I was assisting, we were pretty busy by the time I got there at 10.30. And uh, 15 minutes in, I was asked to go to the bakery. Yeah, that's right, the bakery. <laughs> so I get back there and they said, oh, we just need you to cut strawberries. I said, okay, perfect, no problem. So I washed the strawberries up and I'm cutting them, no problem. And they said, okay, well, we need you to work on something else until we're ready for you for the next step. Sure, no problem, what do you need me to do? So then I go over and I'm doing the um, Einstein bagels, everything bagel which not a big deal to me because I don't like them. You think automatically you're going to the bakery, keto, how does that mix? How does that play well together? For me, it was not that much of a big deal. So I get done doing all the bagels and I put them out and then I move on to apple strudel muffins or something to that effect and get to put the cool little icing that they put on there. So that was kind of fun, very sticky, but fun. Finished all that, labeled them, packaged them, put them out, no problem. Then they moved me over to apple pie. Again, no problem. Not a lot, I don't like apple pie. I like apples, but I don't like apple pie. I just kept thinking, oh, this is sticky. So I get them all packaged up, labeled, you get the idea. So then they say, okay, we're ready for you over here with the strawberries and blueberries. I say, oh, okay, no problem. So I'm mixing it in this glaze and it's a little sticky. And then they bring over these fresh fruit bar cakes. Vanilla, one of my favorites. I'm like, okay, I can do this, no problem. So putting the fresh cut strawberries and blueberries on there looks really good. And then I start doing the carrot cakes. No problem, I don't like carrot cakes, so I didn't feel like I wanted to eat them. So wasn't doing too bad. Um, I go, I take my lunch, I come back, and they say, okay, Stace, everybody's pretty much gone, it's all you. We're gonna teach you how to do the tuxedo cakes. Therein lies the problem. The tuxedo cakes are all chocolate. Glorious, glorious chocolate. <laughs> so they're showing me how to do it. They, are, they come in a box and so we just have to uh, cut them into four, put them onto the cardboard, into the packaging, and I'm putting a dollop of um, chocolate icing on them that smelled wonderful. <laughs> And then I had to put shaved chocolate on top of that icing. My goodness, I was struggling a little bit. So I'm putting these all together. And as you open up the box, there's probably about a quarter of an inch of the cake that sticks to the sides of the boxes. And I have to tell you, I was struggling. I worked in that bakery for six hours today. In the last 40 minutes of working in that bakery, working on those tuxedo cakes, I was struggling. I just kept thinking, remember, you can't sample it. You're at work. You can't sample it. You don't want to lose your job. But my mind is saying, oh my gosh, you want to see? look at all that cake that's going to waste on the side of those boxes. <laughs> and the smell, the smell was so wonderful. It's chocolate. I love chocolate. Who can resist chocolate? Obviously, this girl did. I'm super proud of myself. Talking about the chocolate Easter Bunny this morning and letting it sit there. That had nothing on these tuxedo cakes. Well, you were handling those. I was handling. I, I had them in my hand and moving them from the box to the individual pretty box that I'm doing it. And then I'm doing chocolate frosting, which is a dump for me. And then the shaved chocolate, you guys. Can you, can you, can you feel my pain? It was a struggle. I, I, I'm telling you that was the longest 40 minutes out of an eight hour day that I've ever had. Is this um, your worst keto This day? is my worst keto day. Uh, I stayed keto strong, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I didn't even, I had it, I'm like, we wear gloves of course, and so I have chocolate on my gloves. I've got some of the frosting and I so, 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 so just want to, but I didn't. Um, so I have to love my husband. So I call him on the way home and I say, oh my goodness, Bill, today, the last 40 minutes was the worst part of my day. 
And he's like, why? What happened? And he says, did you have to work maintenance? I said, yeah, I worked a little bit of maintenance. I was painting some floors and stuff like that. So I said, but that wasn't so bad. I said, that was the easier part of my day. I said, the last 40 minutes of working in the bakery at Costco, I was doing this tuxedo cake. And he's like, what's that? And I'm trying to explain to him. And I said, it's all chocolate. And when you see this picture, if you're a chocolate person, feel my pain. The struggle truly was real today. So... I get home and I'm telling Bill, and then he says, close your eyes, do you trust me? I said, of course I trust you. He gave me some Lily's salted almond chocolates. I am so thankful. I think he got this idea from Greg and Stacy yep. at Keizu, uh, Keto. Keizu Keto. And thank goodness, because this was my lifesaver today. Now I didn't eat any of that chocolate at work and i'm super super proud of myself bill thought he <laughs> i'm real proud of you too i thought you were <laughs> i thought you were calling to confess to me that you ate chocolate today he did he goes are you gonna have to restart i said no i swear to god. i said i didn't eat it I, I didn't eat it i didn't even have a taste of it you know when the chocolate like when you chocolate soap pies and they have those chocolate the little, shavings, the shavings and it breaks off. And you're like, oh, I just have to eat it because it broke off. So I just have to eat it. It's very delicate. And so it was a white and dark chocolate that you put in a little shaved stick. And then it goes on. So I had to put three pieces of those on each of these tuxedo cakes that I did. And they kept falling off. And I'm like, just scooch it under. Just scooch it under. Just keep it as part of it because you'd be happy to get that extra piece of chocolate if you were the one eating <laughs> this cake. But let me tell you, it was hard. But I stayed keto strong. I did it. I didn't eat any of that chocolate. I didn't eat any of the frosting. I didn't even lick a little sample of it. At one point, um, when I was doing the fruit bar cake, and you're mixing it in the glaze, part of the glaze got part right here, <laughs> cheek, because we were mixing it, and then somebody asked me something, I got distracted, and I was like, oh, so I had it on my shirt and on my chin. I could have easily, because it smelled really good, but I didn't, so... I'm, I'm happy. Kudos to myself. I have to pat myself on the back a little bit because this was the hardest keto day that I've had with cravings and really, really, really wanting that chocolate. Um, but I did good. So I just thought I would share. It was kind of a little bit of a funny. Um, I had built in stitches there when we did it. So um, check out our new channel name. We're Bonsai Keto. It used to be Sunshine, Stace, and Bill on Keto. We're now Bonsai Keto very zen. I needed the zen today after that chocolate experience at work. Um, so And they opened the Culver's right in front of them. Yes. Yeah. Just before we started keto, actually just after we started yeah, keto, they after. opened up Culver's. For those of you who don't know what Culver's is, Culver's is the home of the Butterburger. I don't really get the whole Butterburger thing, but I like a thinner burger. And I like their cheddar burger. And they have crinkle cut fries. <sighs> That's a struggle. Not so bad now because it's not warm outside. But when it gets warm outside, like we have TGI Fridays right there by um, in that same parking lot. And on a good day when it was warm, that wind was blowing just right, you could smell those hamburgers <laughs> and the food coming from there. Culver's is going to be a little bit of a tease. Um... I'm a little worried, but you know, I could still go and I could have the hamburger and I could have the cheddar on top of it with the extra pickles the way that I like it. Uh, the fries will be a problem because they're crinkle cut fries. Not everybody here is crinkle cut fries. And those are some of my favorite fries with a little bit of ketchup. Um, that might be a problem, but today by far was really a test of my will. Out of five months. Out of five months. I think that's the first time. Now, the cherry pies, I kept walking past it going, gosh, that cherry pie looks really good. We only carry it for a short period of time. Um, they looked really good. I was not working on pie day. It's probably a good thing that I was not working on pie day because they had cherry and apple pies in the break room for us to enjoy. I was not working, so I didn't cheat. Didn't have to worry about it. But today was a good day, but it was, it was a struggle. <laughs> So tell me what your struggles are. What is the thing that you've struggled the most with in 
please don't leave me hanging. Don't let me feel like I'm the only one out there that's having those struggles because today the struggle was real for me. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little giggle out of it. I've been giggling all day. Truly, um, was kind of funny that they put me of all places in the bakery. Like I said, all day was not a problem until we got to that chocolate tuxedo cake. See you soon. Bye.